All right, so here's the situation. We got our three sheep over here, and uh, one of them's missing. That's because uh, something killed it. So we're about to go look at the kill site and uh, see if we can figure out what the hell happened. So we've only got three left. And it looks like last night, or maybe, maybe yesterday, we're thinking a mountain lion killed it. Huh? Night before last. Fence is undamaged. We've walked, watched the, uh, walked the fence today, and there's no holes underneath. So whatever it was came over the top of the fence. So the only things over here are some tufts of uh, fur or hair. I don't know what they got fur hair. Oh, this is the this is a whole bunch of corn on the ground. It's probably hard to see in the video, but there's what looks like the contents of a gut has been spilled out everywhere, but there's no blood. Like perhaps perhaps the uh, the thing got attacked and then it vomited everything out of its stomach under anxiety and, you know, adrenaline. And then this is just uh it looks like liquid shit. So, again, something that vacated its bowels or something, maybe? Is that what you're thinking, wife? Yeah. No blood anywhere that we can see. Uh, fence is undamaged. You know, it's five foot high fence. So, no dog can jump this fence, kill a sheep the size that you just saw, and then bring it over the fence and disappear with it. We're thinking mountain lion. Uh, yeah, so contents of, of gut and then contents of bowels. No blood or no guts, no nothing. And tufts of hair everywhere. Another big tuft of hair there. Well, I guess let's walk walk that way where we were told by the neighbors that uh, the carcass was over there. Yeah, don't touch the evidence. That's why there's been so many crows. Okay, so is it still moist? Yeah. So what the hell would eat the fuck out of it like that? mountain lion or a pack of dogs or a pack of dogs how would a dogs how would dogs get in the fence <coughs> and then back back out again uh jump i imagine i think it'd be more the first mountain lion or something similar so there's been some wild dogs down there pit bull and the, but i think they're butchers sure yeah, that light pit bull and that, that one that terrier thing that chased corbin down and Three of them told yesterday we ran off. Sleeping on the fucking porch. Front porch well, time to start busting them. Yeah, I popped cap in their ass, no doubt. Well, they need to if they're gonna do this shit. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think dogs got the sheep over the fence. everything. figure out a way to mitigate this problem for the future.
this, so this side was up when I got there. And this was earlier this morning it was found? No. I couldn't get a dog in it, so she called Dallas to come down. And Dallas found the dog on this, chewing on it? Dallas was just, well, fuck. Some of the family members seem to think that it's probably some coyotes. And that could be, I mean, fuck, we haven't, we've only been dealing with the uh, sheep thing for a little while. Um, if anybody has any any input on the sheep situation and what could take one down that big and uh, take it over a fence please hit me up in the comments down below leave a like on the video if you like it dislike it if you disliked it we think it's a mountain lion but it might not be it's probably better if it's not a mountain lion because then i wouldn't be afraid for my kids going outside um, although we have had suspicions that there's mountain lions in the area i mean stuff happens where i'm at We've got evidence, but uh, some trusted family members seem to think that it's just coyotes. I don't know how, how, how coyotes could have gotten the sheep over the fence to eat it. But, I don't know, maybe they ate it in the pen and we didn't know. But I would think that there would be some, some rustled leaves, some messed up area where they ate it. Um, the ground disturbed you know guts awful some other stuff like that i i don't know i mean they could have tore it apart right where we found all that stuff i don't i don't know if anybody has a clue please leave me a comment down below and let me let me know how i should be looking at this and what my improvements to my pen should be to keep this from happening in the future i very much appreciate it thank you very much hopefully this doesn't happen again uh, but if it does, I'm going to have to come up with something drastic. So this is Proto Dad signing off. All right. Thanks for stopping by and watching another video. Appreciate you making it all the way to the end. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Leave a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment down below expressing any other feelings that you might have. I have been Proto Dad, and I will see you in the future.